I hope you are well. Clue is back doing another vlog. It is Saturday morning, about 10 in, 10 in the a.m., 20 past 10 in the a.m. Sort of just slowly crawling into the day, to be honest. I started later than I would have, uh, later than I would have liked. Uh, mostly because I stayed up way too late playing Conan Exiles because, you know, that's what you do. Steve and I jumped on our little server and, <coughs> excuse me, and just plugged away at uh, building up some resources and, you know, just building stuff to get ready for Season 2 of Conan Exiles. Ooh, a little spoiler alert there. <laughs> nah, no spoilers at all, but, you know, we, our first series of Conan was shorter because it was, like, um, just a local, not local, but, like, instanced multiplayer where just, you just host through Steam, where now we're going to dedicate the server. So, Season 2 is just cycling over. Oh god, the rest of my coffee. Cycling over to uh, a proper server. So that'll be cool. Um, so, answering hypothetical questions I might get. This is similar to the last smoothie I made. Oh, I showed on stream. But this is mango and mixed berry. Again, with oat milk, a little bit of water. Um, pea protein powder, uh, cacao, spirulina, did I say oat milk? A bit of maple syrup, all that good stuff. Wazz it all up and you're good to go. It's really nice and good for you. It's a big huge one because um, like a, it's like a breakfast smoothie. I won't have any solid food for a while. So that's that. Yes, this is Gooby Please t-shirt. I have it down the bottom. I don't know if I can get it in the frame for you. Yeah, Gooby Please. Yes, this is like a dank meme t-shirt, basically. This is actually my bro my younger brother's old uh, metal band. <laughs> they did, this wasn't their logo or anything, this was just a t-shirt they made and they somehow had success selling them. They just got on the wave of, of that meme and sold a whole bunch of these. There, there they are. Your World in Ruins. So if you like sort of melodic, complicated, heavy metal, Metalcore. I'll put a link down below in case you're into that kind of music. They, they don't, they don't, not a band anymore, but they're really cool. So that's that. Um, so, vlogging today because today should be some fun IRL stuff. Uh, I've been talking to Rick and Steve, as I usually do, and we are planning to catch up tonight in real life. We're going to head into uh, Melbourne City, like proper, or more or less the proper Melbourne, like sort of near the CBD, the Central Business di District. Uh, to catch up and hang out. There's a really cool um, pool slash snooker hall there by the name of the Red Triangle, which is a place you should check out if you're ever in Melbourne, because it's really awesome. It's kind of got a real old school vibe to it. Um, it's an unlicensed venue, so there's no alcohol, so it's normally a pretty good crowd. And it's just a really laid back atmosphere where you go play pool or um, billiards or uh, eight ball or whatever, or snooker. Of course, they've actually got full 12 foot length snooker tables. Um, which is really dang awesome. Uh, Steve and I have actually been going there for years. I think we were <coughs> still in our teens, maybe 18, 19, when we first discovered it. Uh, we caught, we specifically caught the snooker bug, which is like the hardest cue sport to play in my opinion, because of the size of the table. It's really hard to learn, but uh, we wanted to find a place that actually had full size ones, and that's how we stumbled across the road triangle, and we've been going on and off ever since. Um, it's kind of dwindled off in more recent years as time has gotten away from us, but we still check in every once in a while, and we have a really good time doing so. So, yeah, we're going to bring Rick along for the ride. He's been there once with us already, so I'm going to check it out again, maybe get some food, and have a lot of fun. So, um, you may, you might see me throughout the day. I don't know how I'm going to vlog this thing, but uh, I've got some videos to record, probably. I was thinking about live streaming because as of today, uh, New Grim Dawn patch came out, so you know, get on that wave. Um, yeah, but we'll see where the day takes, otherwise you'll probably ca catch me next, um, I don't know, getting in the car with Steve. So, see you throughout the day. Uh, it's going to be fun. garbage. Put enough echo on anything. <sighs> wow. First note. First note. Oh, for... 
I write riffs I can't play. was fun. <laughs> Not exactly how I originally intended to spend the day, but nevertheless, that was a very fruitful endeavor. This is the kind of thing I was talking about in terms of uh, using my time for art other artistic endeavors. That was the first time, <clears throat> that was the first time I had recorded uh, music for that long in, geez, maybe three months or more. Uh, no, about three months. That's about, that's about fair. So to get an idea out of my brain in through my hands and into the computer uh, was really fulfilling. I ended up recording for about maybe two or three hours, I would say, and it was really good. I mean, I only got about maybe three or four minutes of music out of it, and a lot of that was just retaking that same riff over and over and over again that I can't really play. <coughs> uh, writing for me tends to be pretty exhausting in terms of music because I end up coming up with ideas that are like this far out of my technical ability. And so I have to keep practicing it and practicing it and practicing it. And I just keep hitting record in the hope that I hit a take I actually like. So it's pretty, it's pretty rough uh, in that sense. But it's really rewarding when you finally get to listen to it back. Um, and it sounds like a cool thing. So yeah, go team. Now, I know it might not be to everybody's taste in terms of like the heavier, riffier, uh, drummy bit. Uh, but you know, I th oh, I thought you guys might be curious to see what the afternoons, or rather, rather morning and afternoons endeavor brought about, and some pretty shots to distract you in case you weren't really enjoying it. But nevertheless, uh, that was really cool. And now it's about well, it's 3:25 in the p.m., so a few hours to go until I head out with Steve and the roleplay gamer for some good times. So I might play some Grim Dawn. New patch came out. I don't know. I'll occupy some time. Maybe record some videos for the channel if time allows. There's, actually, there's, there's visitors right now. Uh, so I feel, even though they probably can't hear me, I feel awkward recording while they're here. So um, I might avoid that. We'll see. So, it depends how brave I'm feeling. But yeah, so I'm not going to talk for too long and take up precious vlog time. Uh, I'll probably see you really, really soon because it's a vlog and that's how continuity works when you edit the thing. Kruger's got a problem. He needs help.
you're on a television show. Stab. Times two. Stab. This is so meta. It's pretty meta. Dude, my depth of field right now is so sick. Look. Wait, which way do you have to go, chump head? That way. Oh, dude, really? We gotta go that way. Oh, what in the world? Look, did you have fun? Yes. Damn it. Hi. Just say you had fun. <laughs> sure, I had fun. Yes. Wait, wait. Conclude the show. I always have fun. Do the voice. Oh, shit. Hello. Yes. It's starting to rain, can you feel it? In high quality. Yes. Condenser. <laughs> Directional Mate. microphone. Mate. Don't even get me started right now. I, I, I just see a silhouette, so there's no point. Look, you know you want a piece of this. Look, I can't see anything either. <laughs> Mate. But the lights behind you look pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, there's a nice little silhouette in there. Dude, that's, going that's on. film noir if I ever saw is it. Is it? Yeah. Just throwing, throwing some You like, look at least ten times better through the camera. Sultry saxophone. Alright, so that's the end. We had really fun. Did Steve, did you have really fun? We had really fun, yes. Steve's driving home now. He drove us. We live close. We've discussed this, so he can drive me home. He's a very good bloke. Uh, he still owes me for the table, though, because he's a chump. He, he conveniently had to go to the toilet just before we were going to pay. Filthy, mate. Look, I'm still in the shot. Look at this wide-angle business. You, you, you're the one who decided to go pay. Yeah, well, look. I'm rich. YouTube money for the win. Lol. Not really. But yeah, we had a blast. Rick had a lot of good fun stuff too. I can't even talk right now. I'm tired, man. That's true. Um, he, that was, he was the guy that kept blocking his face with his own camera, so... <sighs> He's a dang chump, essentially. Blocking the face with his own camera? Oh, yeah, that made sense. Blocking his face with oh, his okay. own camera. You know what I'm tr trying to say. He's blocking the face. Look, I don't know what I was saying. I'm totally ransacking your vlog right now. What are you doing? What? What does this thing do? It's a dash cam. Look, Steve has a dash cam. It's because I drive so much around so many stupid people, I have a dash cam. That's pretty cool. But don't drive near Steve because he'll catch you out. <laughs> um, but look, that's the end of the vlog. We've got a lot of cool footage tonight. Uh, very Melbourne, see, we're in Fitzroy specifically right now. Fitzroy is a very cool place. Lots of sick artists hang around and paint cool stuff on the walls just because they can. Check it out if you're able to do so. So, I'm going to sign off. Hope you dug it. Digged it. Dug it. We'll go with dug it. Steve, anything else to say? Just catch you later, everyone. YouTube.com slash Stevens Fight with numbers that you can't spell, so I'll put it in the description. That's the plan. Dude, so meta. <laughs>